Welcome back to the Caleb Marshall channel. Today we have a very special video. First of all, before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure you, you know, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you click that bell to get notifications whenever I post a new video so you can stay up to date. Now I haven't done a talking video in a while, but I, I had an incident a few weeks ago that I really wanted to talk about. Um, and so you guys are the first ones I wanted to tell. So this is about the worst fan experience that I've ever had. And it's weird because there's only one other fan, I've only had one like bad fan interaction I feel like, um, other than the one that just happened. So I was like, I have to tell you guys about it. Cause usually the like, Y'all are like, the booties are so nice, so sweet. I literally, I feel like we have the best fans in the world. And so this was why it was so, this whole thing is so bizarre. Like I, I cannot believe this happened. I was shook to my core. Oh, hi Juice. Hello. Juice was there too. He saw the whole thing happen. So I love you. Last week or the week before we went to San Diego to do, you know, one of our cardio concerts and that, this was the first time we've ever been to San Diego for a show. So I was, you know, really excited. The venue was so cool. They had like the best lighting set up, the best sound. Like this was like an epic cardio concert. Like I was so excited. Literally, I walked in, the lighting guys were like, hey, like what do you kind of want for your intro? Do you want something like really dramatic and over the top? And I was like, yes, you get me. So I was stoked. Like I was in such a good headspace. I wasn't anxious. I didn't feel weird. Like I was really just so in the moment and like excited to slay the stage. And so the show starts, Fade starts playing. We do our whole intro. It's so epic. I'm like feeling it. I feel confident and then I start, you know, giving my opening speech. I start saying hi to all of the booties that have came, kind of introducing everyone. Thank you for joining us at our very first show ever in San Diego. I'm um, introducing Haley, introducing Bria, kind of giving everyone the rundown of what the whole show is about, what the vibe is, and really just trying to like get everyone on the same page to feel comfortable and to not be scared to dance. Cause it's kind of, you know, a weird space when you come to a cardio concert and you're in a room full of people you don't know and like you're supposed to just dance and follow along. So I try to create that like atmosphere in the beginning so everyone feels really comfortable just to be themselves and let loose and you know, not care. This is your sexy sanctuary to live your life. Y'all know I am so like, I'm all about like, let your freak flag fly, like be you, don't let anybody stop you. That's my message. We always have like a very wide variety of people in the crowd who are all very unique. And so I love that. <laughs> but I was giving this speech or whatever in the beginning and mind you, my grandma and my mom are at this show. They never, they were traveling. They were visiting me from, Cal or from Indiana. And so they got to come to the show and kind of help out. And so I said, mom, will you just like record as much as possible? Cause my mom is a freak. I promise you, I have so many pictures from my childhood. Like every three minutes of my life has been documented. So I was like, mom, take the camera, you just record. And so she did. So I'm giving my speech and all the... <sighs> so I'm giving my speech and all I hear is like this <laughs> and I stop because I didn't hear her and people always shout stuff. And so I, you know, try to acknowledge people when I can. And so I looked over to her and I said, hey, like, what'd you say? There's no right or what'd you say? And <laughs> she looked at me dead in my eye and she goes, are you a top or a bottom? There's no right or what'd you say? Are you a bottom or a top? I literally, my skin crawled. I felt so uncomfortable. I did not know what to do. Like I'm the, fr I am not one to get offended. I love like inappropriate jokes, like whatever. But this girl, I did not know, have never met a day in my life. And in front of a, like hundreds of people, you scream at me, are you a top or a bottom? That is just, and it was a woman and I don't, I don't know her sexuality, but I do know that she's not a gay man. And so, oh, <laughs> Juice, are you okay? 
Juice was so shooketh by what she said. And so for her to just ask that question, it's just like, I felt so, ob I don't know if, I don't think objectified is the right word. What's the word when people like are like gays or just for shopping buddies? I just felt so like devalued, I feel like in that moment, as if like, just like me being gay meant that I was like, it was appropriate to just like make a sexual joke about what position I like, like it just made no sense. And it, it was, and, and it's not even like it was a gay guy. Like that's a whole different story. If it's like coming from, that would still be inappropriate, but like I would understand it more in a way. But like when there's this girl there, it's almost felt like, Oh, like you're gay, so like this is what you're about. Kind of like when girls like think that they can just take their gay friend shopping, or they're like, "Oh my god, like you were so snatched, you slay." And you're like, Bitch, "We don't, we don't even know each other. Like well, you're assuming all of these things about me." It just really sucked because I felt so like like everything about me didn't matter, and I was just like this one piece of a person who was just like the butt of a joke. And my grandma was there and my mom was there and like, I haven't done a coming out story and I, I will do that. But I mean, I was, I'm, I'm just happy with where we are now, I guess. And so that was, it was really weird for her to say that. I didn't know if they heard, but it was just, I was embarrassed. Um, yeah, I was really embarrassed. But I have nothing to be ashamed of. That's the thing. It's just like, why would you say that? So I stopped and I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I just looked at her. I didn't even, I just, I don't even think I made a face. I just looked at her and I turned around and I kept walking. Uh, so there's no right or wrong way to do these things today. And I just continued my speech and it was awkward, but like in that moment, I was in a position of a power and I didn't think it, it was appropriate to acknowledge what she said or to talk about it or say, I just thought, move on, like be the bigger person, move on. <laughs> so I did, cause I was there for a reason. That was to make all these other people happy. So just cause this one girl in the front row, mind you, decided to say that, like, I'm not gonna let it ruin the show. So I went on and just ignored her, continued giving the speech, like doing the whole thing. We start the first song, which is Naughty Girl by Beyonce. I'm going through it. I'm like, I literally, she is out of sight, out of mind. I do not think about her. I'm doing my thing. I'm strut, 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 pa. Feeling so damn sassy. And then I like look out into the crowd and this girl's, she was already in the front row, but she then goes in front of the front row and she's like walking back and forth, like in the front row not doing, not even doing the moves I'm doing, which I'm always like, you do you, like do whatever you want. But she was like, not even trying to follow along. She was like walking back and forth, doing her own dance. I didn't see this, but someone said she started to like open up her sports bra and like show her chest. <laughs> and then I see her. So she's like walking back and forth. I see out of the corner of my eye, her with her arm wrapped around somebody's neck. I guess come to find out later, she was like swinging her arms around doing a dance move and hit someone in the freaking head and then tried to apologize by bear hugging them. Like, I don't, I don't, I have no idea. So when I saw that, I was like, red flag, already red flag from her walking around the front. Now she's got her arms around somebody. Then she, after she does that, she walks back the other way and flips me off. As I'm, as I'm instructing. And I'm like, who are you? I am so uncomfortable and honestly, I already have really bad anxiety. You guys know that. And the only thing that was going through my head at that point was the whole Christina Grimmy situation. Not to like bring it that dark. I mean, we had security there, but people, it's not like people were being checked as they came in. It's not like we had metal detectors or bag checkers. So I just got really scared. Like I just remember going cold. And I was like, oh my gosh, like what if this girl is like crazy and just like freaking pulls out a gun or something? Like that's where my head was. And so I started thinking like, wow. Cause at first I didn't care. Like it was about me. She made fun of me, whatever. But then I was like, I don't want to turn this into a situation that's not safe for not only me and Brie and Haley, but everyone around. And especially after she had her arm around somebody and is like just being very disruptive. It's just like, it's my job to do something and to make sure everyone is safe because the last thing I ever want is for one of my shows not to be a safe place for everybody. It should be safe 
mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally. So like, that was all I cared about. So as soon as the song ended, <laughs> I said, give us a minute to recuperate. And I had Haley and Bria and I, we all just walked off stage. Mind you, Cameron was in the back, had no idea what was going on. He thought my ass was just tired or something. So he comes like running back. Did you, what was that? Did you just come running back? You didn't know what was going on? So Cameron just like comes running backstage, he could, thinking like not knowing what's going on. We saw security and we were like, get this girl out, get this girl out. And mind you, like the booties in the front were pointing at her being like, this is the girl, this is the who. Like people there were not having it. Like they, it was so cool to see the booty army just like kind of band together and be like, this is not cool. And they were also like comforting each other. Like the girl who got like something around her neck, like the person beside her was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Like, I'm so sorry. Like people were, that's what I freaking love about our shows. It's people who don't know each other are like friends and like help each other and are there for each other. It's just such a loving environment. So it was so cool in that moment to see like the people in the front who were like affected by this girl, just like talk to each other, band together and become even stronger from this. So security like went to grab her and I heard, all I heard was after I said that, I heard them go, you gotta leave, you gotta get out of here. Like they were screaming at her. I guess she had already like grabbed her bag and was gone. Come to find out I was like DMing people after the show and I guess they said that she was one of the first people there. Like she was in line two hours before the show started. So she had to be like a real fan. So I don't know if it was, it was like she really was genuinely like thought she could just play around with me and thought it was friendly, but it's just like the way she responded to that, like even if she thought it was okay, like when I didn't respond to what she said, like take the hint that it was disrespectful, own it and just be like, wow, I, I fucked up, like I'm sorry and just get over it. But for her to then be a blatant disruption and then like affect other people who paid to be there and waited to be there as well and then like flip me off and stuff is just like, that is not the kind of fan I want. And I wish her all the best. Like, I do not hope anything bad happens to her. I'm not saying she is inherently a bad person. I'm just saying like the way she acted was disrespectful and scary. And the people around her, like I, I was DMing them and they said that she was acting very off. Like they didn't know if she was drunk, but they were like, she was just acting really, acting kind of erratic. I don't know her story. So I don't wanna paint this picture of her other than I, all I can say is from my perspective what happened and it just really upset me um, a lot. But I really hope she gets help or is better or whatever is going on with her. I hope she figures it out because I know everyone who comes to the show is dealing with something. Everyone in the world is dealing with something. So we all have that baggage. I don't expect anyone to come and be perfect. You should be able to like open up and just like let your freak flag fly like I said, but just the way she did it was not cool and it just really scared me. It really scared me a lot. Um, but again, like the security team there was amazing. The booties there were amazing. Like we came back on <laughs> and I was so shady. So Cake was the next song. And so we're on stage and you know, in the song I'm like, oh, we have a party to plan, like send out your invitations. And I always come up with something random. Now it's just a fourth party. So I said, Send out the invitations to that girl's goodbye party. And so we all did cake um, and celebrated her her exit, uh, which was shady and petty, but you know, it was funny. But that ended up being, you know, one of my favorite shows. Like the whole time I felt so in it and so there, like I felt confident and I didn't let that, you know, distract me. So it was, it ended up being amazing, but by far the worst, by far the worst fan experience I've ever had. But also, one of the very few. Of course, if you don't have many, the ones that you do have are gonna be just ethically uncomfortable. So that is the story. Thank the Lord my mom was rolling with that uh, footage because I cannot believe we caught that on camera. If you like this video, don't forget, subscribe to this channel, give it a like, and turn the notifications on so you get those notifications. And leave a comment, let me know if you like videos like this. I really like just talking to you guys. Um, I know you like the vlogs, which I love doing, but I really want to do more videos like this too. And I know I've said that before, but like I'm really gonna start doing it if you guys want it. So let me know and I will see you guys next time for probably a cooking video because I think we're gonna do more cooking recipe stuff. So, bye.